Hey guys, it's Julia. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a while, and this is not going to be your normal video, uh, like a beauty video that I would normally post. This is going to be a video about One Direction. Okay, so I have got... Sorry, my chair is like really weird. It makes this weird noise. Okay, like, when I move. Like, now it's not going to do it. There. Okay, it sounds really awkward. I'm sorry about that. Okay, but... I have been getting so many requests on my Tumblr, my Twitter, Facebook page, just Instagram, everything, to make a video about One Direction, and uh, I'm just going to do it because I'm getting pretty sick and tired of people tweeting me that they hate One Direction and that One Direction is gay and that they're useless, they suck, and I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but when you send that stuff, all that hate, to a really dedicated Directioner, it's kind of ridiculous, and I kind of hate that, so, um, I just thought that today was a great day to talk about this, because I got about over 50, I would say over 60 tweets hating on One Direction, and, I mean, you don't, you don't, uh, I wouldn't say you know them well enough to call them gay, first of all, I mean, I ship Larry Stylinson, like, I don't care, uh, should I say? I don't care if El like Eleanor is real, like Eleanor and Louis being together, Eleanor. But um, I really ship Harry Stylins, Larry Stylins, and I really think that's the cutest thing ever. And um, so what if they're gay? I mean, you know, you can't judge them from that. I know some people are really rude to do that, but I mean, like, it's their sexuality, not yours. So why would you worry about it? don't know why all you directioners do, but, uh, yeah, so, today is basically going to be my rant about directioners, and I'm just going to talk about One Direction. Okay, so, first off, I want to say that you have to respect them, I mean, if you're a directioner, you have to respect them, because no matter what they choose to do, what their decisions are, you have to respect it if you're a true directioner. Like, you gotta respect that they have girlfriends, like, Zayn and Perry, Liam and Danielle, and Eleanor and Louie. I don't know about Harry and Kara, but I don't really, I won't really ship Carreri because I don't like Kara Dub, but I don't even know how to say her last name really much. But if Harry dated my girl crush, Rita Ora, I would die. They're the cute, that would be the cutest couple ever. I would name it Rari. Okay, I'm really awkward. Like, their little shipper name, Rari. Get it? Rita and Kara. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. But, um,. You gotta respect their choices. You gotta respect their race, their uh, religion, their sexuality, their girlfriends, their cho their decisions. It's their life, not yours. I mean, if you're gonna be fans of them, you have to respect what they do. I mean, duh. My back hurts really bad. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to put out there. Like, if one of them opens up about being gay, gotta respect that. And you have to respect the fact that. They're not going to have all the time in the world to tweet all of you. And, um, I guess that's what I wanted to say about respect. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about directioner. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, so a lot of people are telling me that I'm not a real directioner because I only like Harry, apparently. That is not the case. Okay, every time I go like this, like, my glasses go up. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> so, everybody has that one special guy that sticks out in your mind from One Direction. And mine, in this case, seems to be Harry. Now, I love all of them equally. I really do, like, I love Zayn. I just love all of them. Zayn, Liam, Lily, Niall, Harry. All of them are my angels, okay? Okay, let's just get that straight out there. I read fanfics about all of them. I'm really awkward. My hand looks really white compared. Um, but I would say that every directioner, well, most directioners have that one guy from the band that sticks out in their mind, and mine is Harry. Oh, my God. The feels are like, I would be up to here normally on a day of feels. And if I read a Harry Styles fanfic or see even a hot picture of him, I'll be like, poof. Like, they're gone, okay? They'll be everywhere, all of my room. And I just, I can't. His dimples, his hair, his smile, his personality, his laugh, his voice, his... Oh, I can't, okay, my feels, oh my god. 
Um, and I do chat sees. If you don't know what that is, it's like a role play thing, but shouldn't be telling you guys this. <laughs> Anyways, um, the chair, by the way. Okay, so yeah, you can't just like say that I only like one person within the band. That's not true. I read fanfic about all of them and have feels for all of them. Like Liam, his puppy dog face, guys, you can't, you just can't resist that. Zane, his hair and his smile and his laugh, and Niall, his adorableness and his Irish jig thing. Um, Louie and his voice and his funniness and his co adorableness and Harry is like perfect guy. Okay. Oh my god, I can't even deal with Harry. If you look up punk pictures of Harry on Google, or my Tumblr, or my Twitter, I'm pretty sure you'll die. Just saying. Um, what else should I talk about? Um, 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 Okay, I'm gonna talk about Haler right now, okay guys? Now this, I'm probably gonna get bunches of hate on. Well, not really, because I don't think anybody shipped Haler. Okay, so, um, I did not ship Haler at all. Like, I thought the idea of it was kind of ridiculous at first, that Harry would date somebody who has dated 23 guys last year. Um, 